Hi, Michael McKinnon, Security Advisor at AVG. What are the ingredients of spam? Are you annoyed by spam messages that you receive in your email? I'm talking about lotto competitions and references to vast sums of money left behind by relatives you never even knew you had, to new and exciting products and romantic offers and invitations through to certain pharmaceutical products that offer big results. In previous videos, we've looked at how spammers actually collect your email address in the first place. We've also looked at how you can avoid spammers using your business domain name. And of course, spam is something that no one ever asks for. And the term for this is unsolicited commercial email. So what's the real problem with spam? What problem does it create for us all? And the main problem here is that with millions and millions of spam email messages being delivered to us every day to already overflowing inboxes, this is something that we don't need to add to our lives. And of course, it reduces productivity overall. It's a real issue. And of course, on the more serious side, we also see phishing, which are emails that are delivered to inboxes tricking people into clicking on links that will then potentially have that person accidentally divulge their login credentials to some site like Twitter or at worst case even their internet banking site. So phishing is something we need to be aware of as well and it is a form of spam in itself. So what are the ingredients of spam and how can we best protect ourselves? And the list I'm going to go through here is not definitive and there are certainly many very effective spammers who are going to use tactics that have no relevance to this list at all because they're so good at what they can do and they will certainly trick a lot of people. But generally what we see in spam most of the time are things like bad grammar. Uh, if English is your first language, you can often pick uh, these grammatical mistakes very easily and of course there are often spelling mistakes as well. These are easy tells for, for many spam messages. Also you may see distorted images or logos that are presented in these emails. That can also be a telltale sign. As well as bad links and we've covered this in previous uh, videos. Uh, I really encourage you to watch our bad link video which will give you a bit more information about what a, a URL or what a link looks like and how to identify a potentially bad link. And also many spam offers of course seem very tempting, perhaps too good to be true and you need to be careful of the ones that are time based and are asking you to act now or hurry as quick as you can. Um, this can trick you as well. So here's, that's a list of some of the ingredients to look out for. So how can you protect yourself? Well first of all I'd like to warn you about the unsubscribe links on many spam messages. In fact some of them are known to act as nothing more than a beacon so that when you click on them they actually confirm that the email address that they've sent to you is actually valid and there's a human sitting there ready to click on an unsubscribe link and that could actually result in a deluge of further spam messages. And of course there are plenty of unsubscribe links that don't lead to an unsubscribe feature and may in fact trick you with a further scam or even malicious attachments and so forth. So just be wary of unsubscribe links Sometimes deleting the email is the better option. Also, make sure you're reading your email in a safe email software. Sometimes this is in the web browser with Gmail or Yahoo or Outlook.com, which is perfectly fine. Just make sure that your browser is up to date and it's a secure type of browser as well. And of course, this leads up to the fact that you should already be making sure that your computer is completely up to date and also has some security software installed, such as AVG Internet Security. Make sure that your operating system, your security software, and also all of the other applications you have are as up to date as they possibly can be. And this will give you the most stable platform and, and most secure platform that you can possibly have. And the other thing is if you're not sure about a particular spam message, ask a friend for a second opinion. Sometimes that can help you just work out whether you think it's really legitimate or not just by including another person for that opinion. And of course your last and sometimes best option is to reach out and press the delete key and remove the message altogether. For more great tips like these, please visit our website blogs.avg.com. Thank you.